tonight we're fortunate to have our own sensei, Lindsay. She's going to talk. This whole this whole program tonight is talking about the show and get us ready, because like I said, we're going to be out of our element. And so tonight, Lindsay's going to talk to us about how to set up the correct um, uh, displays. Okay. Okay, Lindsay. Hopefully I can cover everything uh, I need to cover and uh, won't bore you too much. But I do have to read this description. Um, Kato is a school in, in Japan, a school of display. There's, I think there's a few different schools, but this is uh, one of the popular, uh, famous uh, schools. And so uh, there's this little description here. Uh, the spirit of display. The significance of art, of the art of display, is to give status to the one's creation or collection. And on the other hand, to exhibit cultivation techniques as well as innate aesthetics of the scene. So to kind of give uh, status to our trees, you know, or, or a suiseki or whatever it is. And connecting a small natural setting to the great outdoors within a limited space allows the viewer's imagination to capture the limitless universe. Thus the zest and charm of life itself unfold before, before the viewer. We often hear the word staging in relation to Cato. The word staging may, be, may put undue emphasis on the act of producing the display, while the intent of bonsai and suiseki is one of grace, taste, and elegance. No, no tiger display. Anyway, um, <laughs> they uh, highlight not the host, but his or her refinement, taste, and devotion to the art. To display them effectively may require a staging, but the method is never the goal. Artistry and quality are. One needs to cost no costly bonsai or suiseki nor expensive tools and accessories to accomplish kato. An atmosphere of elegance calls only for simplicity and modesty. Yet to create such a world, correctness and dignity, dignity can be achieved only through the convention of the rule of Cato. Okay, so the other one is talks about, uh, this one little paragraph, talks about the play of space is just as important as the used up area. The word space or ma, has a very specific meaning for Jap the Japanese culture. Space is not only that which we occupy, but also it's a rhythm, a time, a distance, and a void. When we talk, we even value this physical space between people as well as the silence between words. Space is a necessity of our daily lives. In the world of arts and crafts, space has also been a topic for discussion and the goal of a quest for adequacy. The school of Cato puts emphasis on space for the very same reason. Cato not only discourages the meaningless placement of items, but indicates the rank of items to be displayed. So what's, what's more important, you know, we put them at higher pedestals, say. And uh, by designing the principal and separating subordinate items through the use of space. We strive to elevate space itself as a beautiful element of the whole composition. Okay, so with that being said, um, there's uh, Cato really started uh, when the use of the tokonoma, like, like you guys built the tokonoma, uh, was used in, in formal displays in homes and palaces. And so uh, the tokonoma, uh, the, the, the literal meaning of tokonoma is bed, bed space, which I guess was a little yeah, area to sleep in, you know, originally. Mm -hmm. An alcove uh, where nature is brought into the home. Mm -hmm. uh, the use of ma, space, shibui. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, please.
is uh, simplistic, simplistic elegance. So uh, Shifuri is a, it has a, a lot of definition, but uh, simplicity and elegance, it's, uh, it takes into concern the, the softness of color or texture. Uh, it's also peaceful, calming, and harmonious. Okay, so the art, oriental art uh, of the triangle, you know, we know about the triangle, asymmetric triangle for a bonsai. But it's also repetitious in different art forms like painting and uh, landscape, Japanese uh, gardens and, and placement of stones. And so uh, this basic uh, idea, oh yeah, flower arranging, right? This basic idea of this asymmetric triangle starts with heaven and earth. So like, uh, for instance, when we uh, in, in placing rocks, for instance, you may have a rock that in a, in a Japanese garden Placed in sort of this triangular fashion, uh, heaven, man, and earth. So in, in our bonsai, uh, our main tree is. Hold on, let me back up a little bit. Okay, in a. You guys can see this. In the tokonoma, There's a scroll, right? Painting, or it could be words, uh, characters. Um, we have a tree, a bonsai tree. And then we may have a, an accent. It could be a grass, or it could be a, a suiseki, a rock. Okay. So, in a formal display, originally, uh, in a tokonoma setting, uh, the, the scroll is the heaven, and, and the, the tree is man, and the accent is, accent is a heaven, man, and earth. But because we have uh, only, we don't have space for all our displays to be in a tokonoma, right? So we, we kind of do a display without a scroll. And sometimes some literature, they, they believe that the scroll, you know, it's like if you have all these three items, it's like you're developing this theme or a scene, a winter scene, say, or a spring, flower I see. But you're uh, developing this um, as with three items. But when uh, we don't have the space for the scroll, it leaves something to the imagination, they say. Okay, so there may be in your mind, you have a bonsai tree Instead of having the scroll, we just have the uh, man and earth. <clears throat> okay. Now, it's not limited to just two items. We can also add another item, like a 
Suriseki, for instance. And it may be so the stone may be over here. So then we still have this cute triangle. But the stone and the accent sort of become uh, an accent together for the main tree. See right now, most of the time we have just these, just the accent and the tree, right? And everything, uh, when we put things together, there's this imaginary line in the middle where our tree should slant in toward the center and our uh, accent and stone or suiseki should go toward the center. So when you have these items converging in the center and you're looking at this display, um, your, your, your mind isn't wandering. You know, say if you have a, an accent that went out this way and you're looking at this display, well, you're gonna look at the accent well, and, and kind of look off to the left. When it's all converging in the center, that you have this harmony together that puts this brings this display together. Okay, um, you know it's funny. Uh, you kind of think you kind of think that uh, stones are well inanimate, which they are. But, uh, they have they have movement, right? This stone here. If you look at it, the peaks go this way, like this. So the movement, if you had this with a tree, you'd want to have this facing the direction moving toward the tree. Okay. Fortunately, this, this stone here, you can, you can switch around if you want to, and you can make the movement go that way. But, uh, so even, even Suiseki has movement that you want to uh, put, put in your display. Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay, um, I'll tell this little story about it. We went to Japan and uh, we went to this, what's called an onsen, it's a, it's a hot springs. And uh, when you go to the onsen, it's kind of like the meals are included, you know. You go down, take a bath, and, you know, take a bath and soak. And then you come up and then the, the room is transformed into your dining room. And you sit on the tatami mat floor. And they have pillows and things for you. They do have their uh, uh, kind of a kimono they give you. And you sit down there and they bring the food out on trays okay so everything every dish there might be on your place area and setting there might be about I don't know 10 to 12 different dishes that's each more so uh, accents that particular uh, that plate accents each more so so you might have some kind of uh, red fish in there and it has some color that accents that and it's not like our our place settings where everything matches okay this dish is going to be different from this dish this dish and so when your eyes look at this display of food you know and how it's displayed it's like oh it's very appetizing because your eyes look at all these different dishes like this okay that's how we want our displays to be appetizing and so uh, we want as many contrasts as we can when we put our displays together okay so uh, let's see make sure I said that right <coughs> okay so for instance uh, this tree has a glazed pot right maybe the accent should at least be a different color or <coughs> maybe it could be an, an unglazed, an unglazed. Okay. Now, when, when I'm putting 
companies together, raise your hand if there's questions, because I might assume you know know something that I didn't didn't explain. So you mentioned about the, that you can have three. So with the two axes, will they have a different like heights and stuff? Like okay, so uh, yeah, everything has a different elevation. Okay. So your tree is really the on the highest plane, highest elevation. Then, uh, and yeah, so if you have, it's not like you have two different kind of plant accents, but you could have a suiseki stone and an accent plant. Okay, so those are in different elevations too. And, and now this is my personal uh, interpretation, is that I believe the stone, the suiseki, because it's like a, a distant, if it's a distant mountain view, should be elevated above the, the grass. Because the accent, in this case, these accent are really kind of, you know, you're going along and you see this beautiful tree in nature, and then you look on the ground and there's these little flowering things or grasses, and that's what they're supposed to represent. They're supposed to be sort of uh, in the same area growing together. Whereas the mountain view uh, should be kind of in the distance and elevated. Okay, another thing too, when we're putting together things, is that it's not all on the same line. Say this is the table, and this is the front of the display. Your tree is sort of uh, mid to back of the center line. So here's your tree stand, okay? Then uh, in, in this diagram here, we have the accent, accent grass. And then your, um, your suiseki, if it's a mountain view stone, is sort of back. So that's a stone uh, accent. <clears throat> in main tree. So even on the table itself, there's this triangulation. Like that too. There's a triangulation. Now, um, okay, so <laughs> let me see, cover one more thing. Um, and maybe we'll try to discuss this. The, the only other item that maybe is, uh, if you want to incorporate it in a three-point, this is called a three-point display, is that maybe it could be a figure stone or uh, an actual... A tiger? He <laughs> <laughs> paused. A have wild a... boar. Uh, <laughs> or so, you know, something that... Okay, that's the year of the boar, that's me. So um, and that could be incorporated you know, in there. And that would probably be uh, probably in the foreground. You could probably have an accent plant and then the wild boar sort of in the foreground. But not in the tree display itself. Not in the tree, yeah. It's, it's, it's an item all to itself. Now, you know, we have to, we kind of have to remember it. It's, it's to, everything, you don't want the table cluttered. You know, you want it simple and open and uh, have a variety of shibui. things. Shibui, a shibui feel uh, once it's all put together, okay? The only other thing I want to make mention is that uh, when we have a, a, a nice stand like this, your, your different uh, elements should be on different color stands also. So maybe, uh,
from the top of the tree over. Yep. But what happens if that that natural flow is just so far off to the side and maybe it's not a massive tree? How do you kind of reconcile that difference? Okay, so uh, most of our displays, well, they're gonna either be six foot or eight foot display lengths, right? So uh, if the tree has a has this, because normally what we do is say this tree has this uh, edge of the foliage comes down, so maybe the accent should be in here somewhere, right? Coming down like this. But if it's so far out, then we want to lower the table, have a shorter table, and then it'll bring in those elements together closer. So together. a tree like that should be on a shorter table. So it spreads out like the top tree. Yeah. Well, this uh, this tree here actually comes down like this, huh? maybe like this. So it'll it will be pretty close. But yeah, you kind of have to play with the the height of the table as how long a table you have. So you gotta have a hundred stands, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it helps. It helps. Okay. All right. So yeah, that was a good question. Okay, so let's um now for me, uh let me take a look. This this table's a little large for this tree. It's more delicate. So I got stands on the left. Stands everywhere. Mm -hmm. Go shopping. Hey, Joe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Gee, you already got it. Yeah. Oh, your mom. Okay. Get back. Get back in the mom. And when you just put your tree on the stand, it should be within the framework. It shouldn't go beyond the, the, the pot. whole canopy. No, the pot. The pot okay. Yeah, the canopy could go farther. So is it more important to match the stand size to the pot than the canopy? And when does that not become a consideration? The stand size to the canopy? Or, yeah, like, like for example, that tree, the uh, maple over here, has got a massive canopy. Are you trying to match that stand to the size of the pot or more so the canopy? More the pot. More the pot. pot. Uh -huh. And see, sometimes when you have a, a tree that is more massive, then the pot itself could be a little more, I mean the stand itself could be a little more massive and stronger and bolder. So that kind of gets a balance. But as far as the placement, uh, it needs to go within, mainly go within that frame. Not the, not the circum, the edge of the table, the, the, the frame, yeah. Inside, the inner yeah, frame. Like the picture frame part of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, the inner frame. That needs to be, uh, yeah. So it needs a margin. Mm -hmm. yeah. It needs a space. Yeah. Not too big. Okay, so there's also a bamboo jitter over there and uh, a burl jitter. Okay. Um, this tree probably These are uh, g -bond. it's like a, a slice of wood. And so this has a direction. It actually has a point, has a point of a direction. So this direction of this uh, g -bond should go toward the main tree. Okay, like that. If we use this. 
Now, these, uh, I forget what you call this one. Anyway, uh, two piece uh, slabs. Slab. <laughs> There's a way of, okay, so if it were on this display, it would be placed like this. Not like this. So this would be the correct way of placing it in relation to the tree. Why? 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 Because uh, this open area uh, leaves it open for uh, this space in here. It, it makes it, see if you went this way, it winds Ooh, in there. Yeah. It kind of cuts off okay, the, the, flow of it. the flow together. When you're looking down on the table. Right? Yeah, and you're, you are going to be pretty close. So kind of that's like why. Like a puzzle. Yeah, it should be more like this. And a lot of the uh, the bamboo the bamboo stands are like that too, right? They're, they have that look. Mm -hmm. So on, on this display, it would be like this, like this. So these are, are pretty good, you know. If we if we want to use this combination, there's different color wood different color glazes and um, and you know those are only have two two items on this table and what's neat about this this pot here is this pot actually kind of accentuates the white corky bark on there so it's really really this is a good pot for this tree <coughs> <coughs> would, it, would it be better with a different shaped accent stand because it's rectangular versus rectangular? Yeah. Even so though the even the material is different, the, the shape's identical. Yeah, it, you could have a more rounded uh, like this. It's darker than this. Okay, so let's put uh, let's put this one on a stand. Where's the front? Of? The front's over here, right? Somewhere. Yeah, have fun. Lindsay, you want to put her on the main table? Okay. Uh, it looks like it's going this way. Right? You want to put her on the main table? Yeah. But he's he's going going no, he's, he's on the table. figure out why. Okay. Yeah, it looks to, like the trees. Going, going to those, yeah. yeah. So this stand a little too massive. I mean, it So for a more massive tree, you can you could have a bigger stand. It helps to get more balance, but uh, but it should be lower, right? So it's balanced more. It could be lower. Let's see how it looks. Or anchor or something. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, so. What is uh what do you what do you think? What do you wanna how do you wanna add an accent, add a suiseki? Wait, maybe the table could come out. But the uh, drop on this foliage is kinda like right about here. So does someone wanna come up and experiment? Give their ideas? <laughs> no? <laughs> you gotta be cool. Come on, Michael. Come on. Red, yeah, red. Oh, red, yeah. yeah. What a great idea, Lindsay. Go ahead, Red. Okay, so we got a lot to choose from. Right. It's just build. It's okay. We have a lot of stands. Uh, we have some sui seki over there. On your left. I think it's kind of like, you know, maybe like, yeah, very soft and like more like feminine. So maybe contrast to something. Sui Okay, 
So see how the rocks or the points are going like this? Oh yeah. So this point toward the yeah. yeah. Seems as though this is this a, a, a proper size stand for that tree? No. Yeah, I think uh, it's it's a little bigger in the pot, uh -huh. but because it's so massive, the stand kind of balances pretty well. Okay. Yeah, that's. And so, if you could change that stand to make it uh, better or a more perfect fit, how would you change the stand? Uh, I think the height is really good okay. for that. Yeah. Um, Pot needs to be bigger. Those, pot could be bigger. <laughs> yeah, pot could be possible. Bigger. Those, um, those legs are feminine. That's a masculine tree. Pot. Let's see. You want to see it, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of this leaves right now, but it's gonna be silhouette right later. On. Uh huh. <laughs> so, right. This is gonna have more leaves. Yeah. Actually, that's gonna make it more delicate, even. Yeah. More with no yeah. leaves. Yeah. So I think, or a grass would be. Good, so kind of like give a contrast on, on having a silhouette of uh, tree and then some kind of greenery. Yeah, and greenery. Uh -huh. So, okay. so maybe in a rectangular. You, you want to use that instead of the stone or with the stone? No, maybe I guess this one or 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 this. Let's just. Say. We're still tall, I think. The rock is too small as it has the plants too big, one or the other. Mm -hmm. Turn that grass Friends under pressure. It's under pressure. Can you handle it? It's going to crack. Okay. Yeah, you, you have to kind of stand back, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that I think the pot oh, yeah, is almost it's coming coming, like, uh, coming coming off of here a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And I usually put them a little bit in the foreground because it's like uh, foreground of, of the you know main tree. Um, I kind of like to have, I don't know, when I use a uh, G-Bon is to have some of that, that edge showing, you know, so, but, but yeah, this is a good combination. Okay. Let's see. Any other changes? You want, someone else want to change this around a little bit? Come on, don't be afraid. Don't be no, shy. You're never shy. You. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you. Yeah. My own personal touch, right? right. Oh, gosh. Oh, you can't do anything for 1995. What's wrong with it, though? I mean, put the coffee. Leave the coffee cup there. It's hot chocolate. I don't drink coffee after the chocolate. What's wrong with it? We left What's wrong is that it's too unnatural. Yeah. Wood product. Wood at one time. Too tall. Would that be too tall? Yeah. The height. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. On the table. Come on, Peter. We want to put something else together. You want to do a different table? Let's try a different stand. Yeah. The table is so nice for that table. It's so massive. Otherwise, it'd be a smaller one. Yeah. So, Lindsay, pick up the stand right by your by your left left foot. Oh. That was the stand I used for this tree during the winter silhouette. It's almost doubled in size. During winter silhouette, you lose the, the massiveness. It becomes really light. So size-wise, it fits. I'm going to pick the tree that will fit the stand. Okay. <laughs> 
know what's good about that too. That's the lawn. So the winter so wet, that fits. That's the lawn. But right? during but when the leaf's out, it doesn't. What do you mean it doesn't fit when the leaves no. fall off? No, I like that stand it's a lot better. It's when, it's when, during the winter silhouette, it's much, it's much lighter in feel. So that stand... This tree looks anchored to the earth that way. But once more. you have the leaf on, it's On the smaller stand? Yeah. yeah. It's almost like wearing... Because it's almost well, top-heavy on the big one. The no. large, and you would know about this. The <laughs> 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 My kids run into robots sometimes. It's over when I'm the tree. Oh, you see too much stand. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. Well, yeah, especially when there's no leaves on it. Well, yeah, but and it's going to lose about half its mass when the leaves come off. Yeah. But even now, your eyes go to the tree and not the stand. Oh, yeah, that's true. There are more. I can see what you're saying though, Tom, also when the light's coming through. That's like a, the that really, bigger. that stand you really complements that pot. It's, it's, yeah. much, it's a much lighter feel. And it's, it's, when we did this at, the, at California, and I set this up and we're like, wow, that stand looks really small on that tree. And it, was oh, the same, it was the same setup. And I'm like, oh, wow, that doesn't So what work. do you do with a formal upright tree? It doesn't lean in any direction. <laughs> well, okay, a formal upright has a first branch. The first branch is usually the longest. Uh -huh. and that's so pretty, that's a pointer branch. Yeah, yeah that's a pointer branch, <laughs> right. Uh, okay. The question was a formal upright. There's no lean to it, right? But the, the long, the longest branch is the first branch normally, and so that's the direction that points to. Can't you create a flow with the top, with the apex as well? On yeah. a formal upright? Yeah, just only in, in any bonsai. Oh, yeah, yeah, it could kind of, if it's straight, and then the way the branches and foliage are arranged, yeah, that'll, that'll create a flow. That's true, that's true. Because this is basically straight, the, the top shows the, Uh, Next tree. Let's do another one. How about we put that Catonia Aster on your stand? Well, this is not your tree. I love that stand. It looks more Chinese, though. That took a lot of work to get the detail on the edge. Because it's everything about it that's being produced carved out mm -hmm. and then made super straight like machine made. Oh, yeah. The first bridge. Hey, Jim. Hey, what's happening? Not much. <laughs> oh, my God. How you doing? The first branch is on this side. Hi. Praise God, good to so see you again. So the tree itself is, has this kind of movement. Okay. Is that is that too small a stand? Or what do you think? Try next one. This is a Korean uh, serving tray, you know. Well, that's pretty bad. That's right. Where's this? Is that too tall? Too tall. It's almost tall as a tree. Yeah. But but you have a big table. Oh. So we want to fill the space, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if it's taller, it goes out farther this way. Oh, I see. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> so, you know, that's what we can. The sand is a pretty color with the tree. Mm -hmm. Don't we want a taller stand because we're looking high level instead of having the viewer like squat a little bit to view the tree properly? Would a taller stand? elevate the tree to a point where you can just walk up and look at it versus squatting and kind of viewing they have a lower point of view yeah uh that's well, true sure, okay. yeah but, but you'd have to have a pretty big stand to you know elevate you need taller tables <laughs> yeah and you know some clubs they used to put their table legs on, on pipe you know bring them up higher uh, some clubs do that still yeah, because you're really supposed to view it kind of like right in here, you know. So that does mean you have to go like this. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what kind of, what kind of accent can we, can we do with this? What kind of... There's other accents over here. That's a beautiful tree. Yeah, it's... So 
little accents over here. Going with the light yeah, color. Right your left hand. Yeah, yeah, that's great color. Okay. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> I said the one with the light color. Oh, oh, I wanted to mention too that uh, the, the stands, the main stands that are uh, glazed and, uh, I mean, have like a, uh, a lacquer finish <coughs> are considered more of, of a formal stand, okay? As opposed to uh, the workbench stand. This is an informal stand. Informal stands tend to go with uh, multi trunk trees or raft style trees or uh, oak tree kind of style trees. They, they lend themselves a little better to that. This was a, see all the water stains on there? You know, in, in China, uh, different Asian cultures, they use these tables as serving tables uh, when guests come over. Like uh, we went to a whole mountain near Tibet and um, they had a dirt floor in their house and uh, they had this part of the, half the room, no, maybe a third of the room was this bed in the corner and that's where the guests would sit okay and so uh, for instance uh, so the bed is the you know cold weather they have this fire going and so the bed you sit down on this warm bench you know and that's where they serve their guests and they, I, you know the Maybe the owner would be over here and the guests would be over here and they'd put their tea and desserts and everything on. That's what this was for originally. It was a serving table. But, uh, and it's made out of uh, uh, elm wood. But anyway, um, that's what these, this is kind of a natural look. So Lindsay, I have a question about that. What, what, what is it about the raft style or the multi trunk tree that lends itself to a less formal stand? Oh, because, um, okay, so they're multi-trunk trees. That's um, mm -hmm. uh, a single trunk tree has a definite design. And it's usually, you know, it's kind of manicured at the different levels like this. And sometimes it's good to have some space in here. Uh, on a uh, multi-trunk tree or a raft style, they're kind of all different levels like this. Uh, oak tree styles kind of uh, doesn't have a, a real defined padding. So those trees that are um, kind of more naturalistic, natural looking, um, lends us up to more of a, an informal something stand. Something more natural looking in comparison yeah. to something that's well groomed and manicured. Yeah, and so something. if you can imagine a chokan tree that's all, you know, all layered out perfectly or uh, another moyogi that might have a little tighter foliage in there. Um, these kind of stand are better. Yeah. Okay, so what do we do? We wanna, what kind of stand should we use for that? We got all kinds of stands. The black slabs, maybe. Yeah. 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 Thanks, gonna help you. Oh, okay. Looking for a stand for it? Yeah, for the accent. Oh, for this little guy. Uh huh. huh. We want the woods to contrast, the pots to contrast. Yeah. Stands. Yeah, some there. There's some over there. There's somewhere, I'm sorry. There's more over there. Oh, yeah, there's some over there. What about here? Yeah, that oh, yeah, you could change the accent. Change the yeah, well, I was thinking something that's really like I looked at these because this is all I could see, but it's just very different in the terms of like the texture of it. Uh huh. Let's see this I don't know. What the heck? Let's go with this guy. I don't know what this is. It's an iris. It's an iris. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get something bigger. Maybe something more like this. Good. Yeah, this is a contrast. Yeah, but that moves it's like this. Yeah. Something like that. That's how, did, how are the leaves moving on it? The wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's going toward the main tree. Yeah. That's good. Okay, okay. That looks good. Yeah, it's kind of a funky looking little. It has flowers on it. has more. Some more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we definitely have more wood in the spring. Mm -hmm. yeah, spring show. So here's a question then. If you're. The, so if you were to put like a suiseki, right? Let's just we have a, we have a, a little uh, touchstone. This one? Yeah. Okay. You know, you'd put that in the foreground. But it's, well, that's it's a smart idea. Rubber bands. Yeah, I never thought of that. Yeah, that is really smart. So with something like this, mm -hmm. from the drawing, it looks as though. It might be further back here, or is it, how oh. did you de determine oh, okay. what's so, in the foreground? What's the in the okay, so uh, uh, a distant mountain view stone would be more in the back. In the back. The house would be close. Um, mm -hmm. and, and that makes sense because it's like a land landscape replica is kind of the idea. Right, in the back, yeah. And so for the, something like this, the hut stone would be in the front. Yeah, the hut stone could be, uh, let's see, let me look at it from here. Okay, so the hot stone could be closer to this, but it still it should be elevated. So is that something you'd put on one of these like taller? Maybe a scroll stamp. Oh, okay. Right there, on your table. Here, give a smaller space. Like this. This is why you yeah, had like four or five people. I have this stand. No, this stand. I have this stand. Oh, this scroll stand is a red one. The red one. Huh? Yeah, who's in it? Huh? Michael Rock. Oh. That black one over here? It's a little bit. Yeah. Get a bigger stone. <laughs> we could use a bigger stone. I like that. Well, that works. Just trade that taller one back here. Well, that's not too bad. But the height's very similar. Yeah, of, of this one. Yeah. Put it on the phone book. <laughs> what about if you put it on one of these? The booster seat, right? Yeah. The same color. There you go. Is that higher? Not really. <laughs> yeah. as tall as you for that? So, so here's a my question, I guess. Is there ever a scenario in which the accent plant isn't further in the front? Uh, no, I don't think so. Really? So it's always in the front. And so, if you only have a suiseki to go with a two-point display, this goes here, correct? Uh, okay, unless it's a distant mountain view, then uh -huh. it'll still go back. Oh, it's, so it stays in the back. Yeah. And wh why doesn't it move in the front? I don't know. This is all just like fascinating. Yeah. Well, to me. Sorry, I'm like taking over the whole meeting. No, 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 no. because it's. Uh, the, the reason it's small is because it's in the far distance, right? Yeah, it's in the distance. And that makes sense for like a landscape, right? But for something like this, or like like for example, I have a ginkgo and I have a little little rock that looks like an egg, okay, like a like a prehistoric egg. I wouldn't put that up here. That would be in the back still. No, because that's a figure stone. Yeah. Right? Okay, so that's more of a yeah. figure stone. A fig so that's this is more of a figure stone, and things that look like a person or a chicken or something like that would be in a figure stone. That would be more in the foreground. But is that because in the previous drawing it was closer to earth, not man, or closer to man, not earth? Right, because, because it's uh, it's on the <laughs> it's on the lowest level. Like uh, so, for instance, a man is walking on the ground, right, and that's at the lowest level. Chicken or, or animal. Whereas a stone is not beneath us because we're walking on it, but it's above us because it's taller than us. Well. 
this is the clear you can see. Okay, this is right. this is way up there. Okay, so that should be up there. just a little bit, maybe. Uh huh. Okay. So. So if we didn't have this. Oh, say we did have it. Okay. That's better. This, the stone is moving that way. Yeah. And so this also, you don't want it like lined up with the tree. You want it just slide back. Yeah. Just back up. Cool. Yeah. I like it. So maybe. Can, can you ever combine an accent plant and a suiseki together? So for example, just imagine this being this big. Could you stick? An accent plant on there on the same stem, yeah. I don't know, seems like in certain scenarios it might be kind of interesting, or is that like a super no? Well, I think it's uh, more of an American thing, yeah, yeah, it's very not traditional, not traditional, yeah, more uh, traditional because um, there's sometimes there's these stands that come out long like this, and I've seen in books where they have. A stone and a accent on the same on the same stage. Yeah, it's okay. I guess it's okay. But yeah. yeah. For, for me, it's it's a little un, uh, un traditional. Traditional. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't want to be Gaijin. Awesome. <laughs> it's not very shibui. Is that what you're saying? I think it makes it a little too cluttered. I think each element should have its own stand thing. Personally, that's my like personal thing. My uh, my sensei uh, Kan Komai was. Uh, kind of instrumental in um, in uh, developing the art of display uh, at the California Museum of Science and Industry when CBS California Bonsai Society was uh, displaying out there in LA and so he started the uh, idea of formal display and so I kind of learned from him and I kind of learned from uh, Richard Ota I don't know if you've heard of Richard Ota he's uh, astute in bonsai techniques and, and plant material. He's a world of knowledge. Okay, let's see if there's a, is there another tree we could put up there? Or these are the main trees. Okay, one more. Okay, yeah, can we put, bring that up? Side of the table should this tree be on? <laughs> on this side? I think more dominant. It can Our left, your right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what? Uh, our left, your right. Different tree. I think okay. it's more dominant. So the tree should be on this side of the table? Yes. Okay. So it's going to your left. I mean, your right, our left. So the stand should, this big stand should be there. Oh, over here. Yeah. Okay. It's more full on the left of the tree than it is on the right. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, but, it fits but on this, that table nice. So that you can the skeleton it. leans that way. Right. Well, that's what I said. You'd have to see. First bracket leads to the right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, maybe. It needs to be turned around. Sorry. Well, first brand. Yeah, first brand is over here, but it seems like it's going. Like, it kind of looks like it's going like this. What do you think? Up to the apex. Yeah. The apex is a little more on this side of the center of the tree, so I think probably on this side. This is. Okay. So, what do, what do we? Does someone want to put an accent? Come around to your point of view. Someone want to come up? I don't think so. But if it was in, if it's in Paul, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You can't do this stuff. Come on, man. 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 And you know our our winter's winter look is going to be a lot of this brown okay. or grassy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah, I like that. I like that. You guys are getting an idea about this uh, shape of the the wood and the bamboo. It's good. Okay. So when we uh, you know try to uh, make sure we have moss at least. Uh, 70% of the pot covered with moss would be good when, we, when you bring your tree in. And the other other 30% or whatever could be a little fine grit in order to just cover the, cover the soil. Because showing off the soil is not real pretty, so we want to cover that. So. Yeah, that looks really good. I like that. 
I think it'd be better for her just a little closer together. Oh, closer together? Well, don't you? Uh, show, I show me. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> you have an opinion. I, I got Come on, an Ed. opinion about everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the black and the gray, not quite that much, but yeah, a little bit, I don't know. Don't climb on a ladder. What did he say? Don't climb on a ladder. Oh! That was not yeah. We can put a ladder stone in the back. Good idea. Good idea, Ed. Lindsay, what's that alternative to moss this year? Because we can't like farm or hunt for moss. What's some? You steal it off your other trees. <laughs> <laughs> steal it off of Joe's tree. Uh, I'll, I'll turn it into moss. You got the public garden. Oh, there's no longer moss. Artificial here. turf. Maybe you steal under $900 tomorrow. You don't have to get in trouble. There's places that are over water. Right, oh my. <laughs> Commercial sites of zinc. Moss, you know, moss is really kind of the best, but uh, there's some, there's some uh, real fine uh, creeping thyme that looks pretty too. It's a little coarser, but those you almost have to start putting them on almost now to help them to kind of fill in a little to look. Because if you put them on there, it looks like it's put on oh, last minute. Yeah. yeah, last minute. So it needs a little time to fill in. But uh, some creeping times are beautiful. Uh, <laughs> time quit creeping for me a long time ago. Okay. Okay. So uh, any questions so far? I got another tree, but. Uh, Okay, let's take, let's take a little break. Okay, with, uh, I'm, I'm not the Shoheen expert. We should but, get them all up but, there. But there are some, there are some uh, ideas with Shoheen displays is that one of the, the major things is that your conifer needs to be at the top, whether it's a pine or a juniper, because that's the highest elevation. After that, I mean, you could go, yes. On that, <coughs> you have to have a conifer if you're doing a show in this place. What do you say? Get in the frame, Peter. Yes. But since our show is a winter silhouette, then maybe we can get away just for us. But if you're doing it like a legit one, then they'll say no. Well, there, but there, all the other elements could be deciduous too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So. Probably for us, it's okay if you have a, it'd be great if you had a pine or juniper. Excuse me. So anything, okay, so when, when we put these displays together, it's like these displays in miniature, and it's it takes a lot more thinking to combine all these. Uh, you know, they all, all need to kind of come toward the center, display toward the center. Uh, maybe this could be a suiseki, and this could be an accent, just to kind of break it up a little. But um, all the all the trees should be on their own. Uh, shh, back there. All the trees should be on their own uh, dice. And uh, so you know, it just you could have a lot like because our show is decisions. You could have most all the other ones decisions, which would be okay. Uh, you want to add anything? Also, you can't you cannot put two trees that are the same same variety. Yeah, same variety. <coughs> or two yellow pots in different places. <coughs> so it has to be different. Oh, yeah. So know. is that consistent with the stands as well? You don't want two stands of the same style, like two scroll stands. Yeah, it's like display? Uh, ideally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's kind of like that I, that concept of all those little dishes with different morsels of food. It's kind of like that. Mm. You know. And then on, on top of that also, the acid plant that you're going to put on the side, it has to be talking to the tree from the top. If the tree is leaning this way, that means your action should be here. So if you don't have that then, so when you show uh, a showing rack, there's more points they take out, out of you because sometimes everything has to talk to each other. And so is there another hierarchy other than the pines at the top and then everything else is just whatever? Or is there like a, a, an arrangement to where which trees are higher up or which ones are in the bigger you, ones? You can put like a, a, like a Itoigawa a pine 
you know, anything higher level tree. So you what is it like elevation? Conifer. Yeah, conifer. The highest level. And uh, so yeah. 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 the juniper yeah. tree yeah. on a beach and sort of black pines. <laughs> and now, Lindsay was talking about the, the, the angling of it, and that still plays a part in this, too. Yeah. Like they, the stone is moving that way, right? And then these trees are, are going into the center. So that's it's, it's a lot more complicated to get yes, a nice. Because everything is like this. <laughs> Yeah. Otherwise, you see one like this, and you go, wait a minute, what's wrong with this one? Yeah, it's out of place. And, uh, yeah. and that's the coming show here. You have to have a lot of trees, so that way, if you don't have anything that you're looking for, because they cannot be just plain. Uh, uh, huh? I mean, you, you should have also, you know, with a with a flower, fruits. That's when that catches people's eye, something like that. Notice that when you do the rack, you also sometimes use the really tall uh, axes. The, the tall uh, tables on the side, is that normal? Or more for your cascades only? Uh, um, the table itself, if you want to uh, make the tree a little bit higher, because it cannot be like the same height, and especially if you have indentation. Uh, yeah. You don't want these, the tree at the same level. Uh, yeah, yeah. So one might be lower, you know, something like that. Just like a tabletop display. <coughs> so yeah, it's, it's more complicated. So but, Shoheen display, uh, Shoheen display is a seven pointer. Is that the classic would be a seven? Um, because it would be five on the stand, one mm -hmm. accent, no one tall accent, and then the small accent. I've seen a different table with with nine on it. Wow, yeah, that's so like a big table. But but they were asking some for trouble because you could have all the trees talking to each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In that Kofu 10, whatever it was, yeah. they, they got some with just three. Yes. It's a different stand, played out different. It's not like this. It's not a cube. It's like two layers. Oh, and, uh, on the table. Uh, yeah. Lower. Yeah. Uh, at, at, at the uh, World Motorcycle Convention, I was there. Uh, 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 Tiger's father, I was going like this. And he saw me and he goes up. Uh, and he goes, only in a judge show, then they'll do the 20 cent, uh, eight inches. Oh. Otherwise, if it's not, it's up for grab just for the show. And that World Bowl Psych Convention, it, it wasn't like a, a judge show. So all the showings are like huge. Too big. And, 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 <laughs> but beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Question. The next level up is Choheen, is that correct? Mm -hmm. The next level? Can you make a Choheen display with the rack? Choheen. 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 So he's standing up. She um. <laughs> had one built for that scale. Standing, like. No, I mean, could you use that right. stand for, and like put a rock or something if it doesn't fit? Um, I plus. I haven't seen one like that, but in other words, if it, if they're not showing, then I guess it's yeah. you know it's up to you. Can can the uh, the side tree be a little taller tree, like a tree? yes? So the side tree could be a taller. Uh, uh, sometimes if they're cascading, they can also be more than eight inches, oh. you know, and at the same time. Make sure if you have cascading, then you that like on that side, like that, on that, like yeah. over here. Yeah. And it was another accent with the one on the front here. Or this is all yes. piece together, yes. right? Because that accent is talking to this one. Yeah. And this one is talking to the uh, major. Yeah, the major. Look at uh, tree. Mm -hmm. So with a. Oh, is he? Did he ask a question? Sorry. And those are both no. on the right? Yeah, no. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, um, so with this, if you were to put a Swiss Equity in there, how do you determine where it goes? Oh, it seems very like arbitrary. Like, could I just pick any random spot? Well, yeah, where it fits comfortably, because you don't want all this foliage to be like right on the edge. You know, you want space in there. Um, and this might be a Swiss Equity here. So it's very determined based on the size of it and which box it fits yeah. in, not it needing to be in a certain spot because it's a rock or anything like that. Not really. As long as it goes towards the center, and like, say, this one might be an accent to this. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, this one might be because it's almost on the same plane. Uh -huh. 
Sometimes you'll see them also on a half moon rock. At the bottom, it's much lower, and they'll put a sort of sec. Yeah. Oh, I have a shoheen tree in general. What if I have a shoheen tree that I'd like to show, but I don't have six more of them or a dope stand like that? Um, is there a way to display one, one or maybe two shoheen trees together, even though it takes up a lot less space? Or, or just one. Or just so one. Kind of like that, like, let's say that, like, that point right there, just almost like a tree size, right? Uh -huh. So, how so many? No, but what's your question? I guess also my question is that how do you, I mean, the companion of that kind of size of a tree, small size, so it has to be like a big tree. Reverse the, uh, reverse order, you can have a big stone. Have a big stone and have your, your tree be the, the accent. You can burst it. Oh, well, that'd be fun. Yeah, that's a good you idea. You could have your shoheen tree with a, a major tree. Okay, so you could kind of prepare it with a bigger tree yeah. as well. Yeah. Like a cascade, black pine, okay. you know, and then plus axe. So. And so, so there is no, like, there's no traditional way to display one shogi tree, correct? Because <coughs> it's it seems like it'd be very out of place, it's right? It's kind of empty. Mm -hmm. It'd yeah. be yeah. empty right. on the table. So it would be best to pair that with a large tree. Right. Gotcha. Or like Tom was saying, it could be a large suiseki or something. And also, if yeah, something's planted on a stone, does it need to be placed on top of a stand or something like that? Yeah. Or something like that? Yeah. Or something like that? Yeah. You mean a, a rock planting? No, well, but more like a slab, right? Okay. Say it's like a rock slab, okay. and something's planted on it, does yeah. that need to be placed on top of something as well? Yeah, it could yeah. be either like on the a formal, or formal stand. Or yeah, it has how big it is. You know. It has its own stand. Yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't just be on the table. Okay, right. right. But but is it is it better to keep it low as low as possible, or can you still have like a, a, a rock planting on something that's higher up? Oh yeah, you can still have. It just depends how how massive how it, massive is. it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. It should. If that's your main tree, that should really be elevated. Right. 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 Good question. I got another tree. Are we ready? I'm moving ahead. I I think we're okay, huh? I think we probably should wipe it down. Does anyone want to practice? I mean, this is a great time to. How big is the tree? It's 837. It's ready to, for one yeah, to sell us. Yeah, we got to Okay, you, why don't you bring it in? Why don't you bring it in? We'll get more practice. More practice, right? It's all ready to go, man. Why do you like that one sacrifice branch? Oh, here we go. Let me have the one sacrifice branch. You can criticize them off. Uh, this is a rescue tree. We oh, have one branch. New pot, new soil. Well, look at all the branches. It needs more branches. <laughs> more branches. Yeah, a little more detail. What about wiring it down? It just needs more of these little branches. Okay. Yeah. It needs a little time. It needs a little time. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, so now? yeah, make those longer. Mm -hmm. Okay, well let's let's uh, let's put this display together. <laughs> okay, which direction is this going? Is it going that way or this way? That way, I think. That way. I think it's roots. Why? It's the same realm. Is that liquid amber? Yeah, liquid amber. So it should be on this side? Liquid or a trident? Oh, no, a Liquid amber. You can make a good show here. All right, that's great for a show. Okay, so what shall we do? Someone want to put an axe up with that? Shirley does. Shirley's up there. <laughs> Shirley volunteered. Look, she ran out. There's She's so excited. Look at that little stone behind her. I think the guy doing all the talking ought to step up there. <laughs>
You want, to put your, you want to put an accent up here? I think your moonstone, Lindsay. I think the moon would be kind of cool and creepy for Halloween. <laughs> no, yeah, there you go. With the moon. No, just a look. That, that does go with it. It needs to be taller. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Mark, it sort of looks like a spooky tree. Yeah. I mean, kind of. Yeah. You go together. Kind of something tired. Dead. Yeah. I don't see that tree. It only has one branch. You pot in the soil. You go all friends and you start now. Yeah. That would be. The water is no big. I think it's dangerous to have. This one's very dark. Oh, okay. Is that high? Better color. You know what that's? That's a good question. Yeah. Where did you go over here and let the rest come out? Yeah. Is there anything wrong on it? That's nice as glaze. Oh, there you go. Doesn't have more along. No, the action plant grows your eye now. <laughs> no, the action plant grows your eye now. <laughs> Not on the main tree. Point the wrong way. There we go. I like that one. Does it matter what direction the feet goes for the accent? Well, it could either go in front or it could go like this. You can see two feet or one feet. Two feet is more traditional. stable. Yeah, it's strong, it's yeah. more stable. Looking. If it's one, then. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. I like this stone. You better keep your eyes on the stone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Might trade you for a tree. <laughs> He's got all the trees he needs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, there that you looks, go. That looks pretty good. Uh -huh. I like that. Either one. I like either one. Any other changes? Okay. All right. Um, well, I think we're done. Yes. It's a good question. So, you know how this show is January, third week of January. So, you know, we have some trees that are scheduled to be repot, like, would you suggest to do it like a few weeks, three weeks before the show, if we want to show the tree? Well, uh, I, I would suggest if it looks more stable and established now in that pot. Right. But it, what, let's say if it's in the training pot. No, oh, put it in a, a, yeah, a display pot? Yeah, display pot. So how long? Like, the sooner the better. Yeah, because then it, then it'll look established in the fire. Can you get the moss to look up? The date is soft. So what is it? Uh, this is the citrus tree, right? So yes. So we're probably looking at maybe... Maybe late December? Mid, mid December? Yeah. Yeah, maybe mid December. You can you can defoliate. You can defoliate early. Just to put your leaves off. And it'll go dormant. Oh, another question. We have any more trees? Any more trees? Question. Yes. I've noticed that even during during the winter silhouette, there are people who will have two trees in their setup. Does that change anything we've discussed on how we lay them out? Because what if we had a second tree that would also like to show off? How would that work? Or would they be shown separately all together? Just to be different styles, because then that's another contrast. Yeah, that's right. I've seen it where you know some people had in other shows a, a big elm tree and then they have a little small elm tree, but it's kind of monotonous. Yeah, it doesn't. No. It doesn't make it interesting. Variety. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. Anything else? All right. Very good. Well, thank you, everybody, Yay. for bringing it. Thank you, Lizzie, for your expert judging. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you, Lizzie. Any more questions? No more? Exactly.